My name is Dr. Manish Singh and I'm the Chief Executive Officer of DHR Health. Dr. Singh, what's today been all about? Today is uh, another celebration uh, which DHR does for the community, being part of the community, and it's called ECMO. ECMO is uh, a program which, in, if you can talk about in plain words, is basically when everything fails in here, whether lungs and the heart, and there is nothing much to do. This is the program which is the state of the art, which gives a hope, 50-50 ch person chance to the patient to survive and come back to the regular life. And that's the program we have at DHR. I'm very, very proud of it. And so today was the first anniversary. Yes. How big a, a deal, how big an operation was it to get a program like that in the Rio Grande Valley? Oh, wow. Uh, you saw the this program requires a multidisciplinary approach. Uh, for that, first we need a captain of the ship. So finding the cap correct captain of the ship was a very difficult task. And we realized during the COVID-19 and we saw uh, what a scourge for the whole community was. Uh, we lost a lot of loved and uh, dear ones and it was very hard on us. And I think we could have saved some lives uh, if had we had this program. And we heard about the story of the kid whose mom, uh, he had the Twitter account and uh, the mom was transferred out for just for the ECMO. That made us uh, thinking that for this simple thing, the patient or the family should not be traveling outside breaking uh, apart the whole family. And if you know the mission and vision of DHR Health is to bring all those uh, advances of medicine back here in the valley. We were fortunate that we found Dr. Andrew Phillips who is a native of mission in the valley and who has been trained wor from world-class institutes, especially in ECMO. And he decided to come down and help uh, be part of the community and be part of DHR Health. Uh, on his shoulders around him, we built the whole team the DHR Health uh, Administration and the partnership was right behind him because this is something we wanted. It is basically like putting the cart before the horse. It requires a lot of investment, both in terms of personal and resources. But as DHR Health, as always, we are determined that this is the need of the community and we went ahead and did that. It took around one and a half year or so to get everything in place, train everybody and have the first patient uh, uh, ready on the go. It was a very moving event today as well. That you had a you had a patient that survived, was not expected to live, and is now obviously still able to be with his one-year-old son. Yes, actually, uh, I see a little differently. Uh, I think we are uh, we are focusing on the patient. I'm very happy of the for, for the patient uh, that he survived and he came out of this uh, this endeavor. But I think it was about the little kid sitting next to him because. Uh, of this, the kid will have a dad for the rest of his life. So I think we should focus on that kid, what it did to the, uh, the kid, which he doesn't know what the impact is today, but he'll realize when he grows up. This is one of those special days you have in medicine when, yes. when, you, when you look after yes. someone that's... Yes. It's Sorry. obviously very moving as we can yes. tell yes. Dr. Singh. Yes. Okay, tell us about other projects you're working on, other, other programs you're introducing. So one year ago, DHR Health became their own uh, GME site, uh, training the new residents and uh, physicians, just like Dr. Andrew Phillips, right here in the valley. And uh, we will be uh, coming up with the one year anniversary. Uh, we are very proud that we are going to increase the number of residency, which will include uh, orthopedics, OBGYN, and probably psychiatrists, because mental health has been a big issue for the valley. Uh, we will be probably expanding the mental health and the behavioral health services in the valley. Soon you'll hear the good news uh, up in the news very close uh, we'll be uh, doing that and we will be expanding our graduate medical education to our one of the sister counties and the sister hospital the star county memorial hospital we will be placing residents there which is going to increase uh, the quality of care which we provide for the community and the thirdly uh, i'm so proud of our endeavor in brownsville uh, end of march is going to be one year when dhr health opened the door uh, for the community down there and it has been an upswing of uh, emotions and support f uh, from the community and the, uh, uh, the happiness which I feel and when I see and meet people from there. So we are very excited and very proud of it. Let me go back to the uh, residency program for a moment. Uh, every time I go to Star County and I talk to the leadership over there, the, the level of excitement, yes. people are just, they cannot wait. Yes. They can't, some, some of them cannot believe they're gonna get a residency program in such a rural area. Yes. And it, the reason why it has become it's so important as far as the impact is concerned for Star County is that 
I think uh, the primary care, the last primary care who was hired uh, to come in Star County was more than 20 years ago. Uh, all of them are uh, getting more experienced. Uh, they're, it's very hard to uh, recruit people there. But when you go to Star County and you take care of people from Star County, you actually fell in fall in love with them. You want to go and serve with them. So by introducing the residents there, I, I am pretty sure a lot of them will fall in love with the community and the place and the hospital and the county and they would want to stay there. So DHR Health is going to be that bridge for the community down there. In what historically has been a very underserved yes, county. Yes, very underserved and uh, if I'm not uh, wrong, it is the poorest county in the country. And then going back over to Brownsville and your anniversary there, how well have you been received in the city of Brownsville, a new hospital um, available to residents? Yes, uh, we, uh, I'm very, we are very fortunate the community has uh, endorsed us in, with open arms. We were very fortunate to provide services there and we, a lot of physicians from the community actually have joined our uh, DHR Health umbrella and they are actually practicing at DHR Health, so we are very proud of that. Uh, residents initially may will not be uh, going there because of some restriction for the ACGME but our plan is to include that in GME program uh, of main campus uh, at that time because Brownsville is not a rural community so it will be extension of uh, the DHR health residency program but the sooner uh, we can get them there we'll we'll get them there Dr. Singh CEO DHR health is there anything else you'd like to add? Uh, I thank everybody who came in here uh, to witness uh, what uh, DHR Health is doing. It's because of uh, you guys. Uh, we are able to tell the community uh, about the services we are providing and they do not need to go all the way to Houston or San Antonio for these services. It's right here, right there next to, next to the door, doorstep. Thank you so much for today's interview. Thank you so much.